Good day, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the Yaesu FTM 500. Okay, here is the uh, Yaesu website www.yesu.com go to do product line and we're going to select VHF UHF mobile transceivers FTM 500 DR go to the files tab down towards the bottom under the amateur radio software there's uh, two things uh, it's the second one here FTM 500 D FTM 500 D USA firmware update Click to download that. So let it download. Okay, it's downloaded. And also take a look at this. FTM 500, update firmware information. That's dated of December 6, 2023. And this is, has some information here. And these are the current firmware. The main firmware version 1.10. All right. The sub firmware version 1.11, that's new, and then the DSP firmware version 7.20. Now, once you finish downloading that zip file, and you're going to extract it, so do the normal extraction. Once you finish extracting, you'll see this subdirectory, and you have four files the firmware this ftm 500 d firmware manual this is the actual manual that i'll be following so you can print this up and follow along all right we are here in the mobile turn on your radio push and hold function set up menu select sd card Select menu 107 backup, write to SD. Make sure you have an SD card inserted in the radio. Select all and move over to OK and then select OK. And it's going to save your memory and your setup, both. And it's completed. And you can just back out of there. I'm going to turn off the radio and remove the SD card because we're going to use a different SD card to load the new firmware. So don't use the ones you save the memory. You need to have a second SD card to write the firmware onto. How to confirm the firmware version. Go to function, go to reset, that's menu option number 126, software version. Select that and write these numbers down. All right, I have my firmware update information and I've written down the current firmware I have from the radio. So the two things I need to update is the main and the sub because the DSP version is the same, 7.20, 7.20. This is the SD card that came out of the FTM 500 and this is the second SD card that I will use to format so take this out from my adapter and we're going to put this in the radio all right so we're going to format this new SD card push and hold down function and we're going to go to SD card it's memory uh, menu item number 109 to format Scroll over to the OK to format and allow it to format. All right, once the formatting is completed, 
we can just turn off the radio and remove the SD card and we're going to go to the computer now and we're going to install those three files on this formatted micro SD card remember do not use the one that we just saved our memory in okay so set that aside and we're going to use the formatted one that uh, we just formatted from the uh, radio. Okay, welcome to my desktop. All right, I'm going to take my micro SD card, put it in my card reader that's plugged into the PC. I'm using a personal computer, not a Mac. This won't work on a Macintosh. All right, so there's those three files, okay? So let's go back to where you extracted those files. You unzipped it, so that was my downloads under FTM 500 USA under this subdirectory. All right, so there's three files that we need to copy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on uh, this one, that's the DSP. And I'm going to hold down the control button and click on the main and click on the sub while I'm holding down the control button. I'm going to do a right mouse click and I'm going to select copy. And this is a specific folder that you need to copy these three files into. So we're going to now move over to the drive E, which is the FTM 500. We're specifically going to put this file under the subdirectory called FTM500D. So double click, and this is where we're going to drop it. Don't drop it in backup or the GPS log, but out here. So click out here, anywhere in this area, click, left click, and then we're going to do a right mouse click, and then we're going to paste it. Those three files are now paste in this subdirectory of FTM 500 D right this one right here now we're going to go ahead and right click here and eject it now it's safe to remove the micro SD card while the radio is off insert the newly copied micro SD card into the radio. There's two buttons we need to push at the same time. It's this button on top, it's called display button and the power button. So we're gonna push both of them at the same time to power on the radio. So you get the firmware update screen. So insert the SD card containing the SFL files, select update, and press the dial. So it is correct currently on update, so you use the bigger knob, call highlight update, and push the knob to update. Now, the ones that are highlighted, the sub, the main, the white dots indicate firmware to be updated, the black dot is the firmware it's not necessary to update so remember what I mentioned that the DSP I don't need to update but the sub and the main needs to be updating so I'm going to scroll over to update and push the big knob confirm push the knob to select OK so it's currently updating and there's a percentage on the screen. Once it's completed, select OK and the radio is going to turn off. All right, so now that the radio is turned off, we need to turn it back on and do a factory reset. So turn it on normally. Hold down function 
and we're going to select reset and we're going to select factory reset menu 127 and then scroll over to select OK. Now it's resetting the radio to factory and it's completed and then it turns back on and then enter your call sign. Okay, my call sign is entered. It's going to reboot. Okay, so it's now factory standard, okay? So I'm going to turn these volumes down. So now there's no memory. And let's verify that we have the latest version. All right, hold down function. And then now we need to go down to... Menu item 126, software version. Select that. Okay, so for the mains, I need 1.10. Main is indicating 1.10. For the sub, 1.11. The sub is 1.11. And we didn't do anything for the DSP. So that remains a 7.2, um, version 7.2. All right, so now we're going to remove the, the SD card with those firmware updates. So remove that one and replace it with the, the ones that we have the memory saved on. Okay, before we go back to the SD card at the menu 107, we need to turn off the radio the memory card SD card is inside and it powered it back on. Hold down function and uh, you know what? It doesn't work. So the backup here, see? Alright, so there's a, a glitch in the system where you will lose all your memory when you do this. So I got the SD card in it and this is the one that we made the backup, remember? Put it back in. Oh, there it is. Oh, you just saw it live on screen. So there we go. Backup. Select backup and I want to read from the SD card and select all. And that's the only option I have, so let's select that. Scroll over to OK and select. Now it's loading. Once it's finished loading all the memories and the settings of the radio, you're going to, it's going to reboot itself. OK, there it is. My call sign, my APRS call sign. And I'm on VFO, let's go to memory. There it is. It's all working in my shortcuts. Turn on the APRS beacon. And it's working guys. That's it. The latest firmware. Everything's good to go. Well, I hope your update was successful like mine and um, that towards the end when we were reading the micro SD card. Um, so while the radio was on, I, I put the micro SD card in. Actually, I ejected it and put it back in and it read the card. So I was able to recover all my memories and all my settings for the Yaesu FTM 500. And if you find this video helpful, please consider to subscribe to my channel and also that like button. And let me know how your update performance uh, on your radios worked. My name is Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. So 73s, until next video, have a great day.